This was originally episode 16 of Rector with Mojo and uh, Music Fan wanted me to do it in in um, English so we're gonna do that. I'm saying that in every video that I'm redoing again because some people may not know so there you go. Uh, this is the top 10 U2 songs. I personally like U2. I like um, their 80s stuff. They were uh, the most strongest in the 80s. I, I'm, I think we can all agree with uh, records such as The Unforgettable Fire, War, uh, Joshua Tree, Great Record, which I believe there's a tour ongoing right now. So go to that if you're a big U2 fan. But I personally, I like the band, but I, I'm not saying that I love them. They're one of my favorites. I'm not saying that. They're, um, they have their place for me, but. They're not one of my all-time favorite. They are a bit overrated. They don't have the best records nowadays. So um, I think it's mostly going to be classic records. So we're going to see what's on the list and enjoy. I think um, how's this song called again? Um, Where the streets have no name, or I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I think that is going to be the top two, something like that. But we're going to see. Uh, even better than a real thing, good song. They're even better than the real thing. Welcome to Although I like 90s U2, I fucking despise the outfit that Bono is wearing. His 90s outfit is really ugly. I'm just saying. But it doesn't matter because the music is good. more modern song, not the biggest fan of that. Still a good song, but For this list, we've chosen the our best. based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Classic. Number 10, Beautiful Day. Mm. A modern one. A uh, beautiful day is a modern gem. But it was a sign for the band that they were going more easier, that they were going, going to make really predictable and really boring albums. I still think that something with a bomb. It is a really ugly name. Something with Bum, um, that was kind of alright, I thought it was a good record. But No Line on the Horizon is really boring and Songs of Innocence is horrible, so... You do stop making records, uh, this is your good, uh, your last great record in my opinion. Uh, the Bum one is still pretty good, but after that I lost interest. Really, really predictable band. It's uplifting message and upbeat uh, in that time span. They... Well, they defined themselves in the 80s and they were really experimental in the 90s and I can ex um, I can respect that about it man. but in the 2000s they, yeah, they just went really predictable and yeah, uh, lost me as a fan, but I, they still have billions of fans, so they don't care. Even better than the real thing. Yeah, I love that main riff from uh, from the edge. That is a really psychedelic, trippy riff. Simplistic but good. And that's what counts. Bono looks like a fucking dying grandma on stage <laughs> in the 90s with that trash suit he's wearing. Just so ugly. <laughs> he's just just. Fuck is that sound? Um, 
Mysterious Ways. Number eight, Mysterious Ways. Oh, good song. Another one from uh, Achtung Baby. Which basically means, yeah, baby. I googled it. I'm really sad right now. Best uh, album name ever, right? I believe I've made a top 10 U2 songs and it is still one of my most viewed videos to date, so go figure, like 200 views, something like that. Um, yeah, New Year's Day, it was number 3 or 2 I think on my list, it is a really great song, the solo is amazing, bonus range is incredible, uh, the bass is really thick, so I really love the songs, drums are really uh, patriotic as well. It, it was really anthemic and patriotic on war because it was about war, so drums are really uh, military inspired. So I really love that record, one of their best. Uh, yeah, New Year's Day is, uh, is a classic, man. Love it. Love the song. Though it can't be denied that Bono's insistence and plaintive vocals and the Edge's guitar and piano work are extremely important to this song. It's Adam Clayton's bass playing we remember most. <laughs> I mean, I love the bass by him, but the edge just just takes the edge. Really fucking, no pun intended, but yeah, really lame. I know. Just like me. That riff. Uh, what are we out here? I thought this was gonna be number one or something because it is. I believe it is the most popular YouTube song, so go figure. What a love song, man. With or without you. It just feels so otherworldly. It just feels like it's not even from this world. Yeah, right? When you two experimented with their sound. When they still did that. Remember those days? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Fucking yes, memes. It helped propel the band to mainstream success, thereby serving as an example of YouTube's many musical talents. <coughs> uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday, yeah. Sunday Bloody Sunday. Not a classic song. Guitars and military inspired beat. The opening track to U2's third effort is hard to forget. It is. When their stuff was still unforgettable. It was actually me memorable, stuff like that. <laughs> Same thing, right? But yeah, it was almost like No Line on the Horizon. Horrible album cover, even uh, worse songs. Yeah, pretty shit album. Uh, and that album after that. Pretty forgettable stuff. Where's Sunday Bloody Sunday? Where are songs like that? You do. We need those songs back. We we really do. But it's Sunday Bloody Sunday's anti-war message and anthemic nature that keeps the track ingrained in our musical consciousness. <laughs> Though it initially caused some controversy for its political lyrics, the rock and post-punk number 
has since become one of the band's most well-known songs thanks to its power and accessibility. Uh, one, yeah. Number four, one. Not number one. Nothing from uh, The Unforgettable Fire yet. Arguably the best record. This rock ballad is famous for being the tune that helped bring the members back to making music together following turmoil within the band. Love. Love. Just a game, of course. If this is your if if this is your jam, it's a good song, so I cannot blame you. With each other, sister, and brothers. Number three, I still have a yeah, yes. Not the best title, in my opinion, really long, but uh, but yeah, I love the Joshua Tree, great song. Essentially a rock song. The Joshua Tree's second single keeps us hooked with its gospel tinged sound and thought provoking lyrics. What I'm looking for. U2's exploration into their spiritual side was so successful, it nabbed them their second American chart topper and a top 10 single in the UK. Yes, I'm still Thanks to its soulful rhythm, the Grammy nominated tune really comes to life in concert. I still song this is um i think still today my favorite u2 song where the streets have no name such a masterpiece number two where the streets have no name that opening riff gives me shivers every time after the musical skills of the edge clayton and larry mullen jr are put on display in this song's lengthy instrumental intro that instrumental is so amazing the result is a strikingly beautiful trap with lyrics inspired by issues in their Irish homeland that went on to become a top 20 single in the US and the UK. Simplicity at its best, man. Great song. But of the blue sky from the Joshua Tree. Bad from the Unforgettable Fire. I will follow from Boy. Holy shit, they were young. In 1980. Desire from Red on Him. Walk on from All That You Can Leave Behind. Oh, uh, Pride. Yeah. This is an obvious choice. Uh, I would say with or without you, but Pride is better. Because that's the most popular. This sonic tribute to Martin Luther King Jr. is a combination of rock and post-punk elements that's bolstered by meaningful lyrics yeah, love it. a memorable melody. I wouldn't say it's better than uh, Streets, but still, it's way up there. showcased Bono's incredible vocal range as well as the 
rest of the band's musical chemistry. Despite early mixed reviews, the powerful number became the band's first American Top 40 track and is now considered one of their best. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite U2 song? With new top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, it was actually a pretty good live show. Um, not to say that U2 shows are bad, but you know, they're sold out like crazy, although the live performances aren't the best. But hey, maybe that's just me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about U2. I think they are a uh, great band. So the 80s stuff is really unforgettable. Uh, hints, hints, the <laughs> unforgettable fire. Um, 90s albums were mixed for me. Achtung Bay was good. Zeropa was alright I guess, I'm not the biggest fan of pop. Uh, 2000s output, I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, All That You Can't Leave Behind was pretty good. Uh, but um, uh, The Bomb album is in my opinion less good album by the band. And No Line and uh, Songs of Innocent, the most recent one that you got for free on iTunes is fucking horrible. So, um, not the biggest fan of modern YouTube, but still the classic stuff is, uh, is pretty good. Let's check out the comments for a bit. What about Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me? Uh, yeah, that was from a Batman soundtrack, I believe. A pretty good song, in my opinion, but still. Uh, Vertigo wasn't even an honorable mention. Yeah, it's a pretty good song from uh, from the Bomb one. Top 10 Muse songs, yeah, they have already made that. So, uh, if you want me to do some Muse, then let me know. Uh, I like Muse. I, I never heard a song by them, though, so still pretty uh, curious. My favorite U2 song is With or Without You. Normie. Uh, mine, yeah, mine is Streets. Uh, you can call me a normie or something, but Streets is just so phenomenal. I love that song. My favorite is Sunday, Bloody Sunday. It's a good song. Uh, another top 10 U2 songs. Yeah, you can do that, I guess, but not really needed. Grot, not great, but Grot list. But come on, Elevation, not even an honorable mention. What BS is this? Um. No, 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 that was Walk On, I believe. Elevation, yeah. Elevation is a good song, though. Uh, yeah, the others, the others aren't really interesting, the other comments. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about YouTube. Let me know if you want me to review some more records, because I, I have reviewed The Joshua Tree. But it was also in Dutch. So, if you want me to do The Joshua Tree and the entire YouTube discography, then let me know in the comments, because I like YouTube. Uh, they're not one of my favorite bands, they're, they're way up there, or they're way up there, they have their place, that is what I'm trying to say here, uh, because of their simplicity. Uh, you can watch a uh, podcast with Henry Rollins who fucking destroys you two, their entire career, but uh, uh, which you just gotta type in Henry Rollins and you two, uh, if you're really curious. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video, let me know what you think about you two, let me know your favorite songs, your favorite albums. And if you hate them, let me know why. Um, I personally like them, so um, I can make a top 10. You can request albums because I like the band, so there we are. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and take care.